What other one tasted what? I'm Haley. Uh, <laughs> Joke, what was that? <laughs> I was like, what did you say? <laughs> oh, whatever. We're tasting wine today. We're trying. We are tasting Leviathan. Leviathan is a 2018, it's a California red blend. And, and, and we'll tell you more about it once we open it up. <laughs> so this was a recommendation by... Chris G. Chris G, yeah. He's recommended a few wines yes. in the past, and we have found some real gems from him. So I know, so thank you, Chris G. This is another one of yours. Yeah, it's another one of yours. And honestly, if you have a wine that you love that you want us to review, just leave it down below, and we'll, uh, we'll see if we can find it. happy to do so. Yeah, so this wine is pretty cool because the it's... It's a project of Andy Erickson. Yes. And who was the winemaker at Mayacamas, which is a, a Napa vineyard up in the Mayacamas mountain range. He has a bunch of different projects. He's been in the wine world in Napa for like a long, long time. But it's a, I like the story. I didn't know this until Chris G said, that would you, re, uh, you know, review this wine? And then we went out and sourced it out. But this wine is, they do one wine every year and they try and focus on the best representation of that year. Yes, yeah, so they do right? a vintage a year. A vintage a year. And so what they do is they blend together like pretty much the Bordeaux varietals. But they California. Yeah. All California. Right. So they source them from kind of like Napa Sonoma, kind of all over northern California, mm -hmm. and they blend them and they try and like represent that vintage. Oh. But I get kind of like a lot of baking, sort yeah, of like baking flour, spices. baking spices, like flour, all spice yeah. nutmeg, a lot of yeah. like, yeah, like flour, dough. Not too dough much fruit. Let me see here. Not too much fruit. I mean, maybe darker berries, like I'd see like plums. Oh, for um, sure. Plums, things like boysenberry, yeah. blackberry, things coming through. Hmm. Very fruit forward on the taste. It's oh. it's kind of dark fruits up front, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then you get like those baking spices, uh, kind of like pie. Like I feel like I'm eating like pie a fruit a good one. pie. Yeah, fruit pie, but a little bit of like you get like the crust on there too because with the baking yeah, spices. Yeah, because it's kind of toasted. It's like a toasted yeah. crust, and then you get like that nutmeg allspice sort of huh. thing on like the kind of back end of your tongue. I don't know. I feel like this is gonna open up a little bit more. This is definitely gonna open up more. This wine has a lot of potential. It's 15 or 14.9%, so basically 15% alcohol, which is which is a heavy hitter. That's a, that's a lot, that's a big point. So this shouldn't be the third <laughs> bottle of wine that you open up for the night. Or the fifth, <laughs> you know, or whatever it may be. <laughs> but I, I like where this is going. Like this is- this You're is a, sending it today. This is but a yeah, solid wine for I sure. I think that this is incredibly solid. Yeah. Personally, I think that we should let this open up a little bit because I think it's going to get a little bit more dynamic. Okay, we'll do that. Should we think we should decant it or you think just let it do its thing? I, I read online other people decanting it for like 30 to 40 minutes. I think we should decant it. I think we should leave it in the glass and then just and then also decant, and decant that one and see what happens. Yes. Yeah. We are about an hour into the decant of, sorry, of this yep. wine. Okay. Um, and the first glass, I, I mean, drinking it off camera, I really liked it. I think it was really good. But I want to oh, see what a, what a decant has done. Because we were already going into it saying we liked it. So I just think we wanted more. From we it. did. I think we were expecting more out of the wine. Um, the first glass took us about 40 minutes or some mod. Some mod was that sound weird? To finish. Some and mod. it was so good. So I'm yeah. very excited for this glass. Mm-hmm. 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 Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what's up. It's still the same on the nose, though. It's still baking spices. It's more like integrated, blended. There may be like some no, tobacco on there, too. No, there's more bacon and bacon fat on there, for sure. Bacon. You don't get see. bacon and bacon fat. I feel like that is like the prominent smell. I do get the baking spices, the, you know, dark fruits, blah, blah, a little bit of tobacco. But that bacon and bacon fat is like front and center. You pick up on that more than I do, so you just must have a more keen sense of ability to pick up on that, because... I love Bagan! I... <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Bagan! Oh, it's a dog at the Begin strips. I'm like, who would... The what's... Begin strips, yeah. yeah. Bagan! Bagan! <laughs> oh my goodness. I am. I'm that dog in the Begin strip. I can, I can see, like, uh, I mean, for me, 
it's like a meaty, fatty. I, I mean, I guess it's kind of a bacon. I guess you're right. You're right. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I just wouldn't pick it out unless you had said that. But there is a thing. Really? That's not the prominent smell no, that you get? A, no. no way. It's not, the, it's not the prominent smell. But we got to taste this. Oh We've been my talking about the nose for too long. I know. No, I think that the, the taste is really nice. It's a little bit acidic, a little bit tannic. Uh, the finish is very long. You do get a lot of those dark fruits again. Um, this tastes like, because it is a Bordeaux varietal, like they use all the Bordeaux varietals. It tastes like a young fruit forward Bordeaux, which you don't really see in Bordeaux, but in California with Bordeaux varietals, I feel like that's kind of what you're getting here. I really like that because it's fruit forward, but it has all of those like complexities on the, mm -hmm. on the backside with the integration of all the different, you know, grapes there. And then it has a nice acidity and some tannicness and all that stuff, like you said. What do you think is like the dominant varietal in here? That's why I say, I think it's, I mean, being in California, it's either Cab or Merlot. I think it's Merlot. I, I, I'm i going Merlot on this one. I'm going to yeah, throw I mean, down I, that. I'm pretty sure you could look it up on and see what it is. I this. mean, I probably could, but it's more fun yeah. to guess. No, it's more fun <laughs> to guess for sure. I mean, if I could pick up on one of the fruits from this wine, it's boysenberries, though. It's dark. Oh, for sure. It's dark boysenberries. This, this is a fantastic but wine. plum, too. And plum, yeah. I love their story. I love how they make one, like, wine per year. And they try and make it with the best that they have. I think that's a great way, rather than saying, "Hey, we have ten different wines, figure out which one you like the best." You know, and they're because yeah, they're they're, focus, they're focusing on one ultimately. I think like if you focus yeah, on like one the vintage, it's like oh, yeah. 2018, like the grapes were like this or whatever. Yeah. The thing that I really like about this is like the smell for me is so different than the taste. For me, the smell is so meaty, so rich, so bold. And then when you drink it, it's a little bit more fruit forward. Mm -hmm. And I think that that kind of like juxtaposition of like the median fruit is so nice. Yeah, I agree. Based on the decant of this, I feel like this could live up for a few years too. Like this, yeah. it's not going to be a wine that you hold on to like, you know, for an insane amount of time, but this will hold up for, you know, three, four, five years. You know, like you, you, you get a half a case of this, you'll be very happy. And it was thank you for joining us here on Tasty Wine. Make sure you get out there, taste some wine. Let us know if you're trying. You got any more? You got any more no, awesome? I don't yeah, I don't know. <laughs> you got any more awesome recommendations like Chris Tree sent us? Let us know. Uh, this this is great, and I, I wanted I wanted to taste more of these wines. So what else you got? Anything else? Did I forget them? Uh, leave a comment down below. Comments, that's what I forgot. Uh, you can follow us on Instagram. Our handle is Tasting Wine Official. And otherwise, we'll see you on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.